So in this video, I have tried to put up few of my tips together to get your workflow sorted. If you are new to this software, check out this video here and then come back immediately and follow along. So let's start with Resolume Arena. Let's make sure our layout is set to default to start working. First, let's make all the features those are needed to be seen almost all the times visible. To do that, we're going to press view and select or unselect. First, let's make all the features needed to be seen almost all the time visible. To do that, let's click output and click on show FPS all the time. We want to see the FPS all the time because this is almost the end benchmark of our production running. If it's running low, that means you have to be careful about your FX or your clips needs to be optimized. Then we are going to turn on view. We are going to show help. If you're just starting, these are going to be very helpful. We are going to show the FFT gain if we are working with audio. Another very important thing is show hardware stats that makes hardware status visible at the bottom here. That's for the nerds. And we have another very golden thing called show undo toolbar. Only the VGs who have been using Resolute for a long time knows why I am getting emotional while I am talking about the valuable undo button. So now we are going to get rid of all the unnecessary thing that clashes with our workflow makes us confused. To do that in big picture, we can split our workflow into studio works and performance works. So let's try to make a layout that fits our studio works more. So when I'm in studio, I'm planning and plotting visuals for a gig. I need certain windows open in certain ways. In live, situation might be different. I might be standing really far from the stage. So I might be needing certain windows bigger, certain windows smaller. And you can also rearrange your window and save layout in the latest resolution. To save layout, let's go to view, layout and save. You can type in a new name here, new 01 and save. If you do something different, if you change the layout, to something else sometimes for some work and you can also again you can just jump back to your preset and save the day let's say we will make a layout for studio work let's get rid of all the things we don't need for this project if we get rid of audio control if we don't need in the project half of the unnecessary control of our whole project is gone you can see there is no audio option either way so if you are not dealing with audios, you can just turn off the audio here and you can turn off a lot of other things you won't need. And you can just save this layout as studio work and jump to this layout whenever you need. For demonstration, we are going to use this project we created in our last video where we did tons of cool tricks. For example, let me clearly break down my workflow into two gross categories. When I'm in studio planning and plotting visual for gigs, I need certain windows open and I don't need certain controls for studio. Let's say I wouldn't need any transition right now to work. I might not need layer transport control in studio. I might need show help. I might need the dashboard, autopilot, key point, beat looper. If I am working with external audio, I might need this. We can save this layout called studio here. And for live, the situation might be different. I might be standing far from the screen. So I might need the windows arranged in a little different way. To do that, I might go and hide all the unnecessary things that might distract you like help on live i don't need that i don't need to see the files i don't need to see the composition i would be working i might be needing fx and source i won't need slices or i might not need render queue if i'm not doing some experimental performance so let's say we're gonna make this window a little bigger so that we can see what's happening here 
we might have our FX even smaller like this. Uh, we might need our groups stacked here and then we're gonna save this layout called live. So now we can swap between our layouts anytime we want. Like I wanna go to my studio. Ta -da. Did you know that Resolume allow you to color clips and layers you can change the color like selecting multiple clips with pressing shift right button and press set the colors these are my red clips maybe these are my blue clips maybe let's change the color of this layer to purple this this one is my blue layer green layer this one is also my green layer this might look like a VJ OCD, but trust me, these tiny practices get you more focused while you are live dealing 10 other external things, mostly which are annoying and nothing to do with the VJ. Thumbnails are very essential for organizing the show. How essential? Let's say you die in the middle of the gig. At least the sound guy could run the show. We can change the thumbnails to specific things, getting your performance focused to the art side of you. To do that, we press right button, go to thumbnails, select load from file, then you can load from a file. Ta -da! To update the thumbnail of a clip in whatever state the clip is in after applying maybe effects such as this, we can go press right button go thumbnails and update or we can just press ctrl shift t or command shift t on mac that will update the thumbnail here's a project we worked where we try to do our thumbnails in proper way hit a like if you like this hit the like three times if you don't like this if you have watched this video till this part that means you are a visual enthusiast like the people in our small uprising community called We Are VJ Bangladesh. Subscribe to our community for upcoming workshop sessions and idea jammings.